Alright guys, welcome back. Today what I'm going to be doing is uh, taking a look at the uh, 1979 Asteroids board. Um, this is my second one that I used for my intro. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, installing sockets here, 18 pin sockets in the RAM parts of this board here. And uh, replacing the crystal 12 megahertz I believe and there's a capacitor over here that needs to be installed let me just move the board and show you right about here so let's get to work so I'm going to turn on my soldering iron here I'm a GQ 5200 50, so I'll just let it warm up and while it warms up, I'll get the uh, sockets ready. Okay. And on the uh, on the chip, on the uh, socket itself, there's the little notch at the top there, and they're all facing this way. may have to turn on the Hako I see a little bit of solder stuck right there and I have some ambient tunes happening on the PSP right here so that's what you're listening to We don't really want to lift any pads here. Just want to get rid of the excess solder. I hope that didn't do what I think it did. And I did. I lifted the pad. Hopefully it's still salvageable. All right, so I'm going to go to the other side. I guess I can't really see if it's connected or not, but it should be. Right, let's go to the next one. Alright. 
take a look at it looks pretty okay and I'll finish off with the other four here So I'm going to use my solder pullet just in case I lift the pad with the Hako again. Okay, second last one. A little bit of solder on the fourth. Alright, that's clear. Alright, that looks good there. Now let's check the last one. Nice snug fit. Alright, so the last one. Solder in. Alright, now just got to uh, install the crystal and the uh, ceramic capacitor. They call for a 103M, but I'm going to use a 103Z, which is uh, plus or minus 80 tolerance. Should be okay. And it's right here.
going to use this solder pullet. Still a little bit more solder left there. And just add some. gonna have to do <laughs> gonna have to use the hako. Did not in the first place. All right, the last thing to solder on is the crystal here. Got two of them from Bob Roberts, and I also have replacement RAM chips. These are 2114 4K RAM. I believe. So the crystal goes in this area here, but I'll have to figure out on my other working asteroids board which way the crystal goes on. I don't have the schematic. So I'll be right back. Alright, so it looks as though when I open up the case the identification was facing towards me, so. Let's put the new crystal in. Little one handed hack there. All right, so there we go. Now, I don't have this guy right here, but I'll take it off of the other one that's in my uh, working PCB. So let's install some RAM chips. All right. This one doesn't necessarily say. Well, I'm guessing the little dot right there is pin one, so. Last one here. Next, what I'll do is salvage this chip. Um, I'll actually just grab it from my other board and throw it in here and let's test it out, you guys.